Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing my everyday look, my go-to glam. I haven't made one of these videos in a year or so, maybe even two. I do wear lashes and I do wear um, eyeshadow so it's not like a quick everyday makeup type of thing, like an hour and a half or so. Already like six or seven. And I'm just getting ready for nothing. I just wanna look cute. Take some key picks and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by moisturizing my face with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. It has like a lemon scent and I love it. I put like this much on. Go ahead and put that on. It feels so nice. For primer, I either use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer or I use, I honestly don't know how to say this, um, that. Embroilus I think I'm gonna use this one. Use two pumps and get all of my face. I go ahead and do my brows now. I've been using the brow liz for like years now. I did use pomade for a little bit, but I feel like this just gives off a more natural vibe to my brows. I just follow my natural brow because if I go over it, they're gonna be too thick. To clean up my brows, I am gonna be using the NARS Pop Concealer. Go ahead and lightly conceal um, the bottom of my brows. I don't like to be too harsh on this. I usually just grab some product and then I go ahead and um, put it on my hand. don't start at the front right away. I like to use most of the product at the end so it gives off a cleaner look. And then I will go ahead and just spread that out. Then I just start blending the rest of the product all over my eye for my eyeshadow. Brows are all done. That's what they're looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to eyeshadow. So lately, my go-to palette is the Desi XKD Frontation Palette. The first color that I start off with is Necessary in the palette, which is this color right here. Blend out the edges. I put on Necessary all over my lid. I put Churro on my outer corner. Cause it's a dark brown, but it's like, it blends right in with Necessary and it's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and use only one color from this palette. It's the James Charles palette. It's this color right here. I don't know what it's called because none of his name shades are on here. It's on like, when, like the little plastic cover thingy when you first get it, but I threw that away. So it's this color right here. I'm pack that shade on, on the front of my eyelid right here. It's just kind of like if you're gonna cut a crease, but you're really not. But... And grab churro again, and then just blend it out. And make sure it's all blended together. is pretty much done um for mascara i use the roller lash from benefit this is actually one of my favorite mascaras i always use drugstore mascara but i got this when it was on sale at ulta it was like two for 25 so you know i got two we've got mascara done and all that now we're gonna go ahead and move on to lashes so for lashes i just use the art dell um Wispies in 113. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so what I'll do with the eyelash is I'll go ahead and cut about this much, almost halfway, but like this much where my finger's at. And I'm actually going to be putting them at the ends of my eyelashes. I learned this technique from Alice T. She just cuts that, like, cuts her eyelashes in half. And then she'll just place them on the ends to give her like, you know, that little winged out um, eye look. For eyelash glue today, I'm going to be using the House of Lashes, the clear adhesive. Um, I either use this or I use a duo, but my duo is all dried out. Yeah, see, look, this is not looking too cute either. I need to get new eyelash glue. 
eyelashes are on. They look cute. I wet my beauty blender already. My everyday foundation lately has been the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the shade 6. contour my go-to is this the hula um quickie contour stick but i don't think they sell this anymore because i try to repurchase it because literally like look, look at where i'm at this shit is done i don't think they sell it anymore because i looked on sephora before this whole quarantine happened i went to like ulta and i saw nothing just grab it from here i put it on there and then i just pat it on go ahead and do our forehead and I same thing with everything else literally I use my hand for everything but I'll like pat it on my hand first so it's not too harsh for concealer I am going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light medium I always almost say Sharp instead of Tarte the Tarte Shape Tape face up now i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty powder in the shade butter these little ones have so much in them like i've had this for a really long time and i'm still not done with it yet i bought the little one first because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like that color but i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and put that under my eyes i'm just gonna do this first and then i'll go ahead and bake after I just like to make sure I set it first before baking. Forehead, chin, and then we do right here where I get my smile lines because my smile lines play me. Like I only get a smile line right here. I never get it on this side. It's only on this side that I'll get a smile line. So I like go like this and pat that shit in. I don't know if it, I mean, I feel like it helps. So that's what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and bake now. I just use these little tiny sponges that are from Morphe as well. It's from like the Jeffree Star kit. Hi Mushu! This is Mushu's hi. What was I going to do? While I let this bake, I take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'll just go ahead and pat this all over the areas that I did not put powder on and I use this also throughout the day like if I'm feeling a bit oily I'll just take this with me or if I'm going to work or something like that for bronzer I am going to be using the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Island Ting I feel like I'm messing up my makeup when I like do this so I just pat it in we'll pat it on Blend, 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 blend. We're almost done, yay! And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the bake. We're gonna go ahead and move on to blush. My all-time favorite is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. And I just go like this, just pack it on. Go ahead and use this NYX Wonder Pencil for my lower lash line. Pretty much done with everything. I just had to put on highlighter and I have to put mascara on my bottom lashes. On our cheekbones our nose this side of the forehead and put the highlight in my inner corner we're gonna go ahead and put some highlight on the brow bones as well here's a l'oreal telescopic for my bottom lashes i haven't tried the lower lash um the roller lash from benefit on my bottom lashes because i'm scared because like any other mascara that i use that's not this mascara and i put it on my lower lashes it always ends up getting on my makeup and i hate that all right, now we're moving on to lips. 
For my lip combo, I'm gonna be using the MAC Strip Down. This is my go-to, I love this lip liner. And I'm gonna also be using Insanity Lipstick from Urban Decay. For lip gloss, I'm gonna be using the Dior Lip Maximizer. That's pretty much it. This is my go-to glam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you can subscribe. All of the products that I did use in this video, I am going to go ahead and have them in the description box down below if you're at all interested in any of them. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one.